Hi, I'm Augie DeBleek from PipelineComics.com, and I have something I have to get off my chest. Recently, several otherwise studious-sounding resources have talked about comic book lettering in a way that almost worked, save one little mistake that made me grind my teeth. How, I ask, could they get something so basic so horribly, horribly wrong. And letterers have only a couple of options. You have the sound effect, the caption box, or the speech bubble. Fonts that letterers can download and then work with in programs like Adobe Illustrator. They still make the bubbles. This is a word balloon, not a bubble. You know who uses word bubbles? People who use Comic Sans. Chewing gum, you might make a bubble. Fun in the summer with your four-year-old daughter? Go ahead, blow some bubbles. Pets.com, a classic Silicon Valley.com bubble. Dutch tulips in 1637, most definitely a bubble. Comic books in the early 90s? Bubble. Word bubbles? That's an iPhone word game, and not a bad one altogether. But if you want to fly through the sky in a wicker basket with some weights and an incredibly high-powered fire right next to you to lift you up in the air, that's a balloon. Pixar's movie Up? That has balloons. Lots of them. That roundish thing that encircles dialogue on a comics page and then points back to the speaker's mouth? That, my friends, is a friggin' word balloon. Not a bubble. This is a word balloon. So is this. And this. Word balloon. Word balloon. Word balloon. Word balloon. Word balloon. Word balloons. A writer in love with the sound of his own voice using word balloons. So please, the next time you want to talk about comics, get it right. And if you're not going to, let me give you a quick tip. Your headline should start with bam, pow, boom. That right there is a universal signifier that the writer has no clue what they're talking about. We appreciate you taking the effort to make yourself look stupid for the rest of us so we know we can avoid reading you. Thanks for listening.